So here we get a nice broad view of the femoral head and neck, and you can see that even in this young patient, 23 years old, there's a lot of damage to the cartilage overlying the cam lesion. And this really supports our understanding that the cam lesion is part of the problem, that the cam lesion is abutting and abrading on the edge of the rim and perhaps on the transitional zone of the acetabulum. So we can come all the way around the neck here uh, and see superiorly, and we can come all the way inferiorly around the neck. And as we come inferiorly, we get to the medial synovial fold. So we know that that's all the way down at 6 o'clock. So we've seen basically the whole femoral neck from uh, 12 o'clock to 6 o'clock and seen all the damaged cartilage overlying the cam lesion. We're going to strip the damaged cartilage off of the cam lesion so that we can do our osteoplasty when we look at the bony aspect of the cam lesion itself. Get all the way around this and we use x-ray as we go to know that we are indeed where we think we are on the cam lesion and identify where the spherical part of the femoral head stops up here proximally so that we can use that as the border of where our osteoplasty is going to begin. So a lot of times that coincides again with the damaged cartilage on the femur because that's the part that has been abrading. So now we'll perform our osteoplasty using the burr. And again, we do this with x-ray so that we know where the spherical part of the femoral head ends and where the aspherical part of the cam lesion begins. And that's the part that we're going to burr down. So this is, we've marked the border of where the spherical part ends. And that is where we've stripped off the cartilage. So in this remaining region, we'll burr it down and create appropriate head neck offset and create a spherical contour. So looking at the femoral neck arthroscopically, it is difficult to assess the spherical contour or the sphericity of the femoral head. So we rely very heavily on fluoroscopy during this part of the procedure to get the head perfectly spherical. Uh, we have now completed the osteoplasty and we can uh, take a little tour of the femoral neck and see that we have restored the head neck offset in all parts all the way from all the way lateral to medial. So we should have alleviated our cam impingement here.